Maney held political meetings in Kano just last week, Junaid Mohammed. A second Republic lawmaker, Junaid Mohammed, has stated that the former pensions boss, Abdul Rashid Mena, held political meetings in Kano last week, and that political insiders including President Muhammadu Buhari, knew about it. The former lawmaker chided the president for taking Nigerians for a ride, and urged citizens not to allow the matter to be swept under the carpet. Mohammed further implied that the DSS and the Internal Affairs Minister were complicit, as he stated that the security agencies had been providing protection for the embattled former pensions boss. Junaid Mohammed, a second Republic lawmaker, has stated that Abdul Rashid Mena, the former pensions boss, had been holding political meetings in Kano and moving in government circles. Mohammed made his comments in a telephone conversation with New Telegraph, and bashed President Muhammadu Buhari for taking Nigerians for a ride. Naj. Com gathers that the former lawmaker stated that the presidency could not claim that Buhari only became aware of the issue recently, but that the real question was what did the president know, and when did he know it. He stated. Last week, Mena came to Kano to the campaign, he has been campaigning it is an open secret that he wants to be the next governor of Borno State, he was in Kano to meet people from Borno and Kano State and he met with them. So are we being told it is now the president is aware of what has been happening? No. The question to ask is what did Buhari know and when did he know it? And any attempt to sweep this under the carpet must be resisted by Nigerians. Like I said enough is enough. We must not also look at the issue of Mena in isolation. The issue of Baba Churlawal which is still in limbo months after forcing the presidency to suspend him, and the DG9, nothing is happening. Nigeria must begin to ask questions about what is happening. The unfortunate developments taking place in the country are not new, they have been with this government, this administration from the beginning. Unfortunately the media, instead of taking the issue as a matter of principle and report what is actually at stake, decides to play games and turn the fundamental issues into a tribal game. When some of us raised the issues from the beginning of this administration in 2015 that some criminally minded people with questionable records were brought into this government, people who have nothing to offer the government or the APC party except their dirty lifestyle and corrupt deeds were brought in and given top appointments in this administration. Some of us said no, we shouted foul. The media choose to ignore us and chose to glorify the regime, now we are seeing the outcome. It is clear that the Minister of Internal Affairs, the DSS as an organization, were openly complicit in the main affair, and they are still complicit because nobody in government, those in Abuja can't tell me they have not been seeing Mena around. He has been around with police and DSS protection. The houses that were supposed to be taken over by the EFCC were being protected by the police and the DSS personnel. So who is fooling who? Nigerians are being taken for a ride, and it is time they tell this government enough is enough. Com previously reported that the former chairman of the Presidential Task Force on Pension Reform, Abdul Rashid Mena, has allegedly escaped to Niamey in the Niger Republic, and was escorted out of Nigeria by DSS officials. The family of the embattled former pensions boss also claimed that President Muhammadu Buhari's administration begged him, Mena, to join the change agenda, with the assurance of security protection.